Hi, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. I had a really fun day of working, and I have something. I have something actually really fun to release tomorrow. But I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business and personal success strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help you discover your genius, which is a combination of your expertise and life experience, and build it into a profit-generating business based on your purpose. So today, wait, I'm going to raise my phone a second because uh, I feel cut off. Okay. So today, I wanted to talk about, um, you know, our favorite subject, clients. And so uh, I've been thinking a lot about, about what is really going on with why everyone is getting, you know, random clients and, uh, you know, struggling to get clients and not knowing where they are. And so I came up with a term, um, uh, and I call it conscious client attraction. And this is a whole system so that you can turn your business into a conscious client attraction machine. And let me explain what that is. So, you know, I, I'm very um, not wanting to fall into the status quo, which I think many people have unconsciously done that, you know, um, with everybody teaching all these tactics, you know, do a webinar, um, do a podcast, write a blog post. Those methods may have worked um, back when those were new. You know, uh, people that did those things, they stood out. But then over time, what has happened is that new business owners are teaching new business owners who are teaching new business owners. And suddenly, uh, the, the whole business, uh, foundations, you know, I understand the methods have changed now that we have social media, but what makes a solid business, as I talked about yesterday, are two people, one being you, who is a product or service that solves an urgent problem, and the other being somebody that you help who, um, who understands or needs that value and wants, and wants it so badly that they're willing to take their hard-earned cash out of their pocket and pay you. That is a foundational business model that has existed for, since the beginning of, of business time. And now, you know, everyone's just teaching, you know, write a blog post, do, do Facebook, do all these things. And so, um, you know, unconsciously, people are learning it and they're thinking that, well, I'm doing my social media because I often ask people, what's your marketing strategy? And they say, well, I'm doing my social media. And what's your marketing strategy? Because <laughs> that's not a marketing strategy. That's, uh, you know, that's doing social media. It's not, it's not a marketing strategy at all. It doesn't uh, tell me how you're going to promote your, pr the value behind your product and service. Um, you know, what does a pretty picture of your dog have to do with getting clients? And so the reality is, is that, um, you know, people are learning the wrong things. And this has uh, become what the status quo is online. And so I want to bust through that. You know, everybody's showing up with uh, BB, BB guns and we're going to come in with uh, cannons and swords and fight everybody. Okay, so this is called, uh, you know, so let's just agree. I, I don't know. This is uh, my vision, so uh, you don't have to agree with me. But I believe that the best type of business model for getting clients is one that's based on referrals. That means that uh, not, it, you know, marketing is a push-pull strategy. So you can do your social media and, you know, put uh push all that stuff out of there um, and, and try to pull people in. But I think that the best model is when uh, you deliver so much value that then other people tell other people about you and they become your broadcasting machine. So I call my ideal clients, and I, this is what I teach in my business, best business friends, best business friends, BBF, legacy clients because number one um, I don't want to see them as a customer avatar that's just cold and um, insensitive to me and you know I don't want to be talking to a cartoon 
all day. Uh, you know, so I, I, I think of them as my best business friends. They are like my extended family, and I want to take care of them. That's why I, you know, I work hard to produce a lot of great content. Uh, and they're legacy clients because what your, what your clients, what your audience, the people that are in your Facebook group, they should be creating your legacy. That means that, you know, when you go or, you know, when, when they live their life, uh, they tell somebody about you. Wow, I had this great coach. Um, you know, she helped me uh, clear my skin. Uh, she helped me through this, you know, get over the, my husband's death. Um, you know, she helped me build a business. That's um, touching somebody's life at a deep level. And when you can look, shift the paradigm of the way you look at your business from, I need to make 10K a month, to, uh, I am here to serve other people, deliver the value of my life, and because of it, I will get paid. And you can shift the paradigm about how you think about your business. You can then not, never feel sl sleazy selling because you're delivering value. You will be dying to get this information out all day long because you're delivering value. You're building your legacy. You're working for something higher than just to get a client, to get a customer avatar, to um, you know, ac acquire a client. So what this involves is um, understanding that we are all human and we all have this thing inside of our chest called the heart. And when you can use that as part of your marketing and uh, conscious, customer, uh, uh, conscious customer attraction, suddenly the whole meaning of your business changes. And instead of having to do your marketing, having to work on something, it suddenly just becomes um, meaningful. And when you have a meaning behind something, you don't like dread doing it you run to it. At least, I don't know, I do, because it has a greater meaning to me. And knowing that that's how I make money, um, you know, fulfills me. If I wanted to go report to a job, you know, because I'm a health condition, I can't, but if I wanted to report to a job, or if you, if you want to, you know, report to work every day, then go get a job, because it's probably much easier than being an entrepreneur. So anyway, so this is your, you know, your BBF legacy clients. So what this involves is personalization. This is about going the extra mile. This is not just about the outside customer experience. So the outside customer experience is very, you know, that's essential. Uh, one of my clients, uh, Joe, your wife does this, Amy Durr. So, you know, uh, she teaches, um, how to have a, a client, she's a client um, experience architect. So she can design your client experience so that you can attract clients that way. But this is going like a step further and really so that what it is, it's not just so, so the outside experience, it's the inner experience that you understand that you need to have so that you can deliver the outside ex experience. So uh, what this is, is, uh, I broke it down into steps so that you can build your own uh, conscious uh, client attraction machine. So the first step is, is to uh, get out of your head. Like everybody's saying, I have to get clients, you know, oh, I need to make, you know, how can I make six figures? Uh, you know, uh, what, what can I do? What can I do? Get out of your own head. Like the reality is, is that no one is going to pay you to make money. And that is a truth that you need to wake up to every day so that you can get your head out of like manifestation mode and instead shift the paradigm to service. You know, you should be waking up like, how can I help you today? Not, um, you know, uh, well, I need to make money. <laughs> Because no wonder you feel sleazy. 
I mean, I wake up every day just so excited because I know I have something of value to deliver to people. And then, you know, if you watch my other videos, it's all about like crafting it so you can have fun. You know, when you know and you shift the paradigm to service, then, then suddenly it takes the pressure off of you to, to go and do your social media. Instead, it's like, you know, wow, I can make this really fun. So get out of your own head. You know, uh, uh, it's not that you're selfish. It's just that, you know, everyone's focus has focused has focused you on the wrong things. So we're going to focus on the client. Uh, next is, um, this may come as a shock to you. <laughs> you know I love these shocking moments, but you actually have to care. <laughs> you actually can't just go and go, oh, how can I help you? No, you actually have to like love your BBFs. That's why I call them BBFs. Because if you just think that you're acquiring a cold, um, you know, a cold piece of money, it's going to be very hard for you to understand the value that you need to deliver. When you understand and care about the value that you're delivering and the results that they're going to get from that value, now we can start to change things. That's... Uh, what I think is being conscious. So, you know, I often say, <laughs> just in my regular life, you know, everyone's like got their head in their phone, and um, I, often people bump into me. Uh, they, they'll like step on Harlow, and and it, everyone's so unconscious. And unfortunately, what happens when that unconsciousness is brought into the business world? You know, Facebook makes people unconscious. You literally are just like liking photos. You don't even know these people. And, oh, a smiling face, like, 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 you know, what do you really like? What if every like that you gave out was worth $100? And then that means that then if, it, as a business owner, if every like that you gave out was $100 and what you, you know, you, you know that you're coming from a place of service, you care about the people that, that you serve, now you're starting to pay attention, conscious, conscious client attraction, and you care, okay? So, uh, you know, I often talk about the three brains. <laughs> I told you I'm going to talk about these every day. We have our fight or flight brain, the fear brain. You know, are you trying to sell me? Should I run from you? The middle brain, the emotional brain, where all, you know, the gut, gut the, where real decisions are made, the gut reactions, the heartfelt decisions, uh, and then the stupid thinking brain. The logical one that actually um, learns, but then it's so stupid, it will justify everything that you believe, whether it's true or not. You know, wow, you know, you are fat, uh, your stupid thinking brain says to the anorexic. So uh, you have those brains, but now you need to understand that um, your... Um, your uh, BBF has those three brains also. So part of the conscious client attraction model is understanding how to communicate to those three brains so that uh, you can deliver that value. So, you know, there are three ways that you need to communicate whatever it is that you do say, want to teach, you know, the message you want to get across. The first is the thoughts that they're thinking that they say out loud. I'm sorry, I'm going to use the fat thing again just because <laughs> I know it so well. But, you know, I'm so fat. And they, they know it, and then they would say it out loud. You know, I'm so fat, they would tell their friends. Uh, so, you know, when you're copy, when you speak, you know, you know that you're overweight, you know, whatever. So then you have the, um, you want to speak to the middle brain. So it's the thoughts that they they know that they're having, but they won't say out loud, like, uh, wow, I'm so fat, and now, you know, I can't, I don't want to go out to dinner, so everyone keeps asking me out to dinner, and I don't want to go because I feel embarrassed at eating in front of other people. So if you said that out loud, that's part of the caring model, so then you're starting to really get into the minds 
of your, um, of your BBFs. You're starting to understand the real problems that are going on. And then there's the thoughts that they don't even know that they're having. That's the, I call that the thing behind the thing. Sorry, I can't come up with a better term. If somebody knows one, <laughs> tell me. But I've been calling it the thing behind the thing. There's always a thing behind the thing. You know, it's the root of the problem. So they may not know what that problem is, but you, because you are selling something that you strongly believe in because in some place in your life, you've encountered that same situation that you understand them so well that when you speak it out loud, they're like, oh my God, she's in my head. He's in my head. So the concealed behavior. Thank you, Steve. It's it's the concealed behavior. Steve has a a great book. I forgot what it's called. The four or something. Uh, I think something like that. Anyway, he's a behavioralist specialist. So he knows. So it's the concealed behavior. So when you speak that, they really, now now they're starting to understand this person gets me. I need to listen to them. And now you're really delivering value. And now they're starting to, uh, to want to hear more. So when you speak to all three of those brains, you're building your conscious client attraction machine. Because now you know the, things that, that, the words you need to say, that you need to speak, write about, um, you know, in, in everything that you do. So I always like to do things in threes. I call them the strategy of three, you know, whatever you do, you know, pick three uh, marketing tactics that you want to use, choose three subjects that you choose that you want to speak about, talk to the three brains. And when you can simplify your marketing into that thing, you can think of it as like this machine. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like, it's, it's like going, going. So every time, you know, you feel blocked with an idea, you just go back to like one of those things and, and uh, if your business is positioned correctly, so it's based on you know, your highest strengths and what you love, you'll be like I was today. You know, I like wrote a whole marketing template. Like I, I created this whole article. I did my, my video yesterday on marketing. Like I'm so excited. I'm like jumping up and down and I haven't even released anything yet. <laughs> that's, you know, so that's the inner workings inside of you. But that excitement, you know, I don't know if you've heard me talk about the energy of success, that excitement inside of you is part of the experience that you need to deliver to your BBFs because you see they're struggling with a problem and anytime, I'm sure that you've experienced problems, um, anytime that you have experienced a problem, it's not a happy place and so, you know, I believe personally that everybody is looking for, you know, and and this is, this is science, but you know, uh, you sell an external solution. People buy an internal solution. I think the internal solution everybody's looking for is, um, an inner confidence of knowing that they, that they're okay, that they're normal. We all walk around and we think that there's something wrong with us. (laughs) I don't know. I spent 48 years of my life thinking there's something wrong with me. I just discovered like last month that that's okay. (laughs) So, you know, uh, that's what people are buying. They, they, they want to buy, uh, and you sell, um, that inner confidence. And when you get excited about what you do, and then, and then you, you bam, deliver that value and you're able to do it over and over again. Now you're starting to see, you know, that machine going and they get so wrapped up inside of that, that it, they can't help, but, you know, move steps, move a step closer to you, want to tell other people about you. And, you know, I'm not very woo woo, but I do believe that the universe the universe, God, whatever you believe, is working on our behalf. That when Marianne Williamson said, if a miracle isn't happening, something has gone wrong. And when Tony Robbins says, life happens for you. I do believe that those things are true. 
that um, we're not put on this earth to suffer. Because as my mentor taught me, when you know better, you do better. So, you know, a lot of people don't know, know better and they may never know. But you know. And so now it's your job not to sit in it. It's your job to actually do something about it. We're change makers. We don't have to change the world. We just have to change the world around us. When you, can, it, it, when, you, when, you know, when you take on the paradigm of your business being about service, your life being about service, and that's how you build your success, suddenly everything is meaning and it's so much easier to do and you can stop fighting yourself because every time you have a challenge and a problem, every time you fail, every time you fall down, every time you look stupid, you're learning a lesson to get you to the next step. And it's human. I have bad days. You know, God help me. I have a health condition. I spend half of my life uh, trying to do what everyone else takes for granted, going to the bathroom. And it's, it's, I go through that every day. And it's a really, um, sorry. It's a really unpleasant thing. But I have shifted my mindset to a place of service so that I know that going through that, you know, all that time that I spend in the bathroom, I spend learning because I have to distract my mind. And all that wealth of information I've learned over the past four years, I've listened to over 20,000 hours of educational audio on human psychology, the science of the mind, Business, marketing, I have listened to so much material and absorbed it because I've had to um, distract my brain from my own personal pain. And now, you know, it's my job to deliver it. So, you know, that's my situation. I'm sure you have been through your own personal pain. It doesn't have to even be like, you know, a severe health condition. It could be, you know... Dealing with your kids or, you know, beating yourself up in your head. Then it's your job to get it out there. And when you can do that, people feel that power. And then they want to tell other people about you. So I'm going to end this. Uh, well, well, wait, I have two more things. Uh, so, or oh, one more thing. So, you know, it's about the details. So, you know, this is about your personal branding. Uh, you know, like for me, it's about like, Images I use, stories I tell, things that are, um, are important to me to help my BBFs understand what it is that I'm trying to help them with. The, and now those details are also, you need to un uncover them and, um, and personalize your contact with your, with your BBFs. So, you know, people like that Facebook has that add friend button. I think so many people just add friends just to have numbers there. How about if you, uh, every time you added a friend, you had to message them. Actually uh, want to learn about them. Evoke your natural curiosity. Because if you aren't curious about the people that you're interacting with, then how are you going to serve them? If you aren't curious about what they're thinking about, you know, how are you going to do your marketing? And then it's about going the extra mile. So, you know, uh, one of my mentors is, uh, is a, a celebrity hair colorist. He colors Jennifer Aniston's hair, Michael Connelly. He is, you know, world-renowned. He said, like, you know, royalty fly him around the world. He makes, you know, millions of dollars a year. Um, you know, every celebrity alive goes to him, all these models and everything. And he's the most human person ever. And, you know, when I first met him, so this wasn't, you know, I've known him for over 10 years, but this, this is when I first met him and uh, when my mom had died. And, uh, you know, I'm not Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> and, I, but, uh, so she died in March. And so, you know, I went to go see him a couple times and every time I would go in, you know, I, I was just in tears. 
I cried for three years straight. And uh, he, he was so kind there. And, you know, I always said, my mom told me that I looked like an angel. You made me look like an angel with my blonde hair. And so anyway, like, you know, I, he just is so great and normal. He treats everyone, you know, I've sat, sat next to a chair, uh, next to Jennifer Aniston and like all, all, you know, Selma Hayek, like everyone just, it's treated as normal. So one day it was December that year in 2006 and I heard this knock on the door and I'm like, you know, well, who comes and knocks on the door without calling? And I open the door and there is, um, the, um, the, uh, I forgot what you call that greenhouse, uh, you know, nursery. There was a, there's a nursery down the street. And so there was outside of my door, standing outside a seven foot Christmas tree. And, um, the guy that, that was delivering it, he said, this is from Michael Canale. And here's a, a bag of a hundred dollars worth of ornaments. What? <laughs> he, 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 arranged to have a Christmas tree delivered to me the year my mom died. That's going the extra mile. And so, you know, he sends Jennifer Aniston, you know, a diamond necklace. But I think my Christmas tree was way better than a diamond necklace. And you don't think I'm going to tell people about that? I talk about it all the time. You don't think I'm going to refer people to him? And you've heard me talk about my other mentor, Mark Ching, you know, uh, I think I'd talk about him every day because he went beyond and he goes beyond for all of his clients. In fact, he gives out his cell phone number to everybody and their mother so they can text, excuse me, text to that, text him overnight, all night long. If something's wrong with their dog, he used to do hospice care. He would stay up all night long and then, uh, and go into his store and work all day long going the extra mile because you care. And when you do that, you know, Mark didn't advertise at all. And suddenly, you know, he is this multi-million dollar machine, uh, but he doesn't even care about the money. He does it because he, he's so passionate about the lives that he saves. It's just about shifting the paradigm. And, and then you can take the stress off of yourself and, and then get the work done. So I think part of the whole getting clients issue is that people are so self-conscious. They don't know what to do. They feel invisible. And now they're, now you're focused on the wrong things. I want you to focus on building a conscious client attraction machine. It just involves understanding humans and, uh, understanding how you help and, Standing in your value. And if you don't know your value, that's what I do in my business. I call it your genius. The combination of your expertise and life experience. Ah, thank you, Steve. It's a combination of your expertise and life experience. Because if you don't, um, if you don't understand how your whole life, like your whole life, like I can't tell you how many of my clients uh, were sexually abused, uh, abused, like physically abused, um, you know, they've traumatic, they've had, they've had siblings die, parents die when they were very young. And all those things have meaning because they make their, they, they form a part of you. And when you can understand the meaning of your life and how it plays into your future, now you have a foundation inside of you so that as life goes on, you know, we've our 95% repetitive thought and 80% negative so that when life goes on or God forbid, when you get hit with like a, a, a severe health condition like I have, you can deal with it. You know, everything I go through every day, is it easy? No. And I had to learn over time. But all of that, uh, you know, I, I would have never learned to trust myself had I not had to do the things I've had to do for my health condition. And I would never, I wouldn't be standing here today talking to you with, you know, with an inner knowing had I not had all that time by myself locked in my bathroom learning. And you have those things too. And those things have meaning and they touch somebody else's life. 
And when you can understand what that is and use it in your business, even if you sell like computers, you still understand. You know, Steve Jobs, uh, the reason why Apple computers look so good is that when he was younger, so, he, you know, he, he, uh, he was adopted and his parents had worked really hard to get him into school, college, and he ended up dropping out. But he would go to class anyway because he was so passionate about art and, uh, and, and, and images and typography. And, you know, who, he had to go through a lot, first of all, to accept the fact that his, uh, his parents didn't want him. And then to go through the fact of, you know, ha- uh, understanding how, you know, why was he so different? Why couldn't he, you know, follow what everyone else was doing? And then he was able to build, you know, this, he, he became an icon, changed our lives. I'm talking to you because of him. All those things have meaning and everything in your life. Like I'm talking everything. So, you know, I just shared a story about Michael Canale. I just saw him the other day and I shared another story because everything you go through every single day, even if it's your screaming kids, even if it's, you know, uh, a fight with your, with your spouse, uh, you know, whatever it is, you can find meaning in it and deliver a story with impact. And in fact, the only way to break through human distraction, um, you know, as, as what's going on on Facebook, is to tell a story. Our brains are wired to spot motion. That fear brain used to want to, you know, uh, saber tooth tiger. Well, I don't have any tigers living around me. I, I, I do have a very loud cat that was <laughs> very loud yesterday and, and a dog, but I don't have any tigers. And so, uh, you know, our brains are wired for motion. So when, when you can uh, deliver a story, which is something that's moving, words, you know, move us, uh, you know, I sell, you know, whatever. I, I sell makeup. That doesn't move, you know. I put makeup on a woman with cancer and her eyes lit up. You want to, uh, you know, this is, this is about movement, energy. And it starts within you and it goes outside. And then it goes outside of, the, of you to your BBFs and then they spread it. That's what client attraction is. So, you know, you do need to do the basic things. And then, you know, I, I could do a whole other thing. This is why I have my position to sell. Um, so if you want to look at uh, my new program, it's at positionedtosell.totalgenius.net. Or you can watch the webinar at positioned.totalgenius.net. And, uh, you know, when you understand this part, then... You have, you know, the funnel and, and you know, how to, how to do a webinar so that it speaks to the brains. All those things, you know, those are the tactical things. And, yes, they're important, but not in the way that other people are teaching them. So when you have that set up, you know, the reason why I'm so creative these days is because now I have a machine working underneath me. I don't have to worry about anything. I just can sit in my creativity and, and deliver valuable information. I don't have to sit and worry about, you know, well, I have to get clients and, you know, what is the next thing I'm going to do? I have an evergreen webinar system, and that's what I'm teaching my position to sell students. And I'll tell you, it, like, unlocks genius. So, anyway, I would check that out if I were you. Come join me at the Genius Collective, which is my Facebook group, um, where highly intelligent people go and... Um, share genius moments of inspiration. And I hope that that's helped you today um, really understand uh, conscious client attraction rather than status quo, uh, I'm like everybody else, um, uh, let me be on Facebook and get more likes. That, that model, it's outdated and it's so old school. Um, you know, people may still be doing it, and randomly, some people are creating success from it. But I guarantee you, uh, the majority are not. 
and it's crushing people. It's making you lose your self-esteem, thinking that you have to be visible, wondering why you're not. Those things don't matter. They really just, they don't. At the end of the day, nobody puts their head on their pillow, on your pillow, but you. I, not even your husband, your wife. Just you alone in your head. So, you know, you choose. For me, I would rather be conscious and understand, you know, delivering value. So anyway, have a great night, everyone. And uh, I will talk to you maybe tomorrow. I think I'm going to do something on holistic strategies to manage uh, your entrepreneurial life. Talk to you guys later. Bye.